Welcome to Body Shop Department Safety, part one of our ongoing Safety Spotlight series. Brought to you by First Benefits Insurance Mutual. The Body Shop, or Collision Repair Department, plays a key role in a complete dealership. Let's learn more about the hazards that you, as an employee working in the Body Shop, may encounter on a daily basis. Strains and sprains can be some of the most frustrating and painful types of injuries that can occur in the body shop. These injuries can happen while lifting and moving parts during dismantling and reassembly of the motor vehicle. Some tools and equipment are also heavy, adding to the potential for injury. If possible, use a forklift, dolly, or other material handling equipment to avoid these injuries. When material handling equipment is not an option, seek the assistance of fellow workers to aid in safely moving and placing the part. Always practice good lifting techniques and never place yourself at risk by bending and lifting at odd angles. Keep your feet shoulder width apart. Squat to bend at the knees. Get a good grip and hold the object close to your body Lift smoothly using your legs, not your back. Remember to turn with your feet, not by twisting your back. Simple stretches to warm up the body done prior to lifting will also help prevent injury. Repetitive motion disorders can occur when workers continually place physical stress on one or more parts of the body. Employees performing repetitive movements increase their risk for common repetitive motion disorders such as bursitis, tendonitis, trigger finger, and carpal tunnel syndrome. Repeated use of manual tools such as screwdrivers, wrenches, and ratchet sets, as well as the use of vibrating tools such as straight line and disc sanders can lead to repetitive motion disorders. To help avoid these injuries, employees should first stretch and warm up prior to starting the work task. When possible, use electric or pneumatic hand tools to remove bolts and screws. When sanding, take frequent breaks and swap out your dominant hand often to reduce fatigue. Slip, trip, and fall injuries are very common throughout the auto body repair industry. Cluttered work areas combined with slippery fluids on the floor place workers at high risk for these types of accidents. Keep your work area neat and as clean as possible. Organize your equipment and remove potential trip hazards by using parts racks or bins to neatly store disassembled parts up off the floor of the work area. Keep cords and hoses off the floor by using hose reels to eliminate the trip hazard. Make it a habit to clean up leaks and spills immediately and be sure to mark the wet area with a sign warning others of the hazard. Wearing the proper slip-resistant footwear can also reduce your chance of having a damaging slip-fall injury. Poorly stored parts and equipment can fall, and various mechanical tools such as grinders, sanders, impact tools, and saws present a high potential for flying objects. Be sure to securely store tools and equipment so that they can't become displaced and fall on you or a coworker. When cutting or grinding, make sure that the tool is equipped with the proper guard and that you wear the proper personal protective equipment. First, protect your eyes by wearing safety glasses bearing the Z87.1 watermark, indicating that the glasses are ANSI approved. Protect your face by wearing a face shield to keep sparks and debris from striking your face and neck. Hearing protection is also required as grinding operations can produce high levels of noise. Wear gloves to protect your hands as well as sleeves to protect your arms from cuts and burns. Be aware of the dangers in your work area and always report any unsafe conditions to your supervisor. You are an important part of the dealership and the key to a successful safety program. Stay safe and stay tuned for more Safety Spotlights brought to you by First Benefits Insurance Mutual.